Hello, Delmange back playing IL2 Stomavik J88 of Murmansk. And um, it's time to venture once again into the harbour of death. Um, tried a couple of times in the last episode, died both times. So this is my third go. Um, so um, I'm just going to skip the whole taking off part cause, because we've already seen that. And um, I shall join you when we reach the death zone. All right, here we are. We've uh, just come to the point where the fighters decide to join us. And let's get the map up. And we're coming close to the bomb site. Let's switch to the rear guns. Make sure we're not going to be attacked. Looks like we are. Got a guy coming towards us here. This is not good news. Let's try and fend him off. He's getting closer. He's firing. Oh, oh, fuck off. Go away. Okay. We appear to be fairly undamaged. And here's another one attacking my friend. I'm using a lot of ammunition. Okay. Well, let's get back into the pilot seat. We're veering off course here. Hopefully I caused a fair amount of damage to that plane that was firing at me. I don't know though. Very difficult to judge the um, kind of aiming point when you're using the bomber gunners. Um, sea Harbour should be just over to the right of it. And there it is. Just about to see it there, so let's get on course with that and set up the bomb site. So, bombing altitude, let's put 650 flat, um, bomb speed 500. Okay, that's all set up. And once again, I'm going to try and drop both bombs in one go. One thing I was thinking of doing, because I think normally I tend to overshoot with the bombs, so I'm going to try dropping one set of bombs a little bit in front of the target and then the other one actually on the target just to be safe and um, see what effect that has. I'm kind of going in by myself right now, which is not ideal. It means all the anti-aircraft guns can fire at me at once. So I need to wait for some of my comrades to catch up, ideally. So I might have to kind of circle around a bit and wait for them. Oh, vibration from some nearby flak. Try. Here's the main group over here, so I'll try and go in, go in at the same time as them going in right now so I need to be quick, I need to be quick. I may have mistimed this completely and I'm now going to be kind of off course with the bomb run as well maybe but uh, we'll just have to make the best of it. Okay, okay. I guess we can adjust our course when we roll over for the dive. Yeah, we need to be going in. About now-ish. Extend the air brake, roll over. And let's 
try to make sure we don't come in too sharp a dive. So it's pulling up now. We're going to go for these, this ship here. Come on, come on. Bombs away. Oh. oh, enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed, excellent. We got a ship and we're also now much closer to all my uh, squadron mates, which is good. It means we can have some um, mutual support. I want to try and get as close to them as, as I can, but that was good. Both bombs gone. And we destroy the ship. That makes me happy. Okay, so now I need to try and catch up here. Because I know those uh, lags are going to be turning up very shortly. I did see a notification we had a fuel tank leak. Fuel's looking good right now, but we need to keep an eye on that. But this is looking good so far. We might actually make it this time. Oh, oh okay. Here come the lags. Here they come. I'm going to try speeding up. Put the level stabilizer on. I think they might be going for my friends back there, so I may be safe. There they go, using their cannons, which um, one of the kind commenters told me about. They have a nose-mounted cannon, I think it said 20 millimeter, which is particularly deadly. I'm going to throttle down a bit because I don't want to overheat the engine. But uh, J J U A C eight number four D J P looks in quite a bit of trouble. All right, now we're catching up to our friends. So we can lower the prop pitch and a throttle. Someone's bailing out. I don't know who that is. It might be a beer from the eye. Here is one of the lads. Don't know where he's going to. And here, look, here's one of the ones we've been watching attack our friend back here. I guess those must be the cannons. And my comrade has. Sustained a little bit of damage, but seems to be okay for the moment. I like this blue colour, it's very nice. And here he comes for another go. Shoot back, J88. You can make it. Well, probably not without engine damage, but. Um, Never mind, you might be able to make it across the front line. Escape the, the terrors of the Gulag. Let me just double check and see where I'm going here. Still heading back, not on the course that's set on, out on the map, but that's okay. I'm still having a go at um, our friend. Let's speed up time a bit and see what happens. He might have given up now, looks like it. Uh, 
And there's another lag. This one, I believe. Let's see what he does. Oh no! No, I got him. He's on fire. There's the one of nines. Let's see if we can find the guys on fire. Here he is. Very loud, guys. Oh, they've already bailed out. Oh, there they are. Okay. Whoa. Explosions, wreckage. Boom. And all that's left is a little bit of fuselage. Well, I'm not sure if they made it over the front line. There isn't really a front line showing on this map. But um, let's hope they did. Otherwise, the likelihood of them returning to Germany will be slim. Okay, well, that's that. Um, bombing run was completed quite successfully. We destroyed a ship. We suffered only minor damage. Everyone seems to be alive. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to head back to base now. And I'll uh, greet you again when I reach the landing area. Alright, here we are. Getting ready to land our plane. Um, request landing. And let's see if I can do this mapless. Now the airbase should be over there. I can see it. And we need to start to slow down a little bit and also drop altitude a bit. start to make our turn to line us up with the runway. Hopefully the, the landing gear is not damaged. I don't feel like there's any damage to any control surfaces. Everything seems to be responding normally, which is good. And we're going to start to make a fairly sharp turn, which will also help to bleed off some speed. to 280, 270, 260 kilometers an hour, that's good. And pretty much perfectly in line. Keep an eye on the climbometer. Uh, we're at 580 meters, so we still need to drop a little bit. Turn the landing light on, and navigation lights, so don't do anything really, just for effect. A couple of my comrades made it back. I did hear the death cries of uh, some of my other colleagues on the way back. I either ran out of fuel maybe, or crashed or something. Our fuel is still fairly good, it's over half a tank. Below 240 kilometers an hour, so we can lower the flaps. Gear down. I don't know where the landing gear indicators are in this thing. I just have to assume that they are down. Looks like it. Whoops, I'm a bit slow. I need to throttle up a bit. See the other landing gear, no. I'm sure they're both down, I'm sure it'll be okay. Alright, um, we're a bit high. Oh, come on, I've got a good record of landings in this campaign, so I don't want to cock it up all now. But we should be okay. Although we're quickly going to run out of runway if we're not careful. Come on, come on. There, on the ground. 
Start to brake, pull back on the stick. Raise the flaps. And there we go. We still have a little bit of runway left, but we could have a bit fine. But nevertheless, we are on the ground. Um, we just need to taxi in. Let's come into these Stukas. We haven't seen any Stukas in the air yet, which is... Um, a bit disappointing because I always like to see a good Stuka flying around. Switch off the engines. Put in the chocks. And we are alive. Thank God. Excellent. So we managed to um, get out of that bit fairly um, unscathed. And we got another ground target. We killed another ship. Well, not another ship. It's the first one we've killed, but we killed a ship, which is which is good. I'm glad about that. Um, okay, well, that's it. Thanks for watching this episode, and I'll see you in the next one.